Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we got a cool video. I'm gonna finish removing the F-Body accessories. We'll go ahead and take off the front crank pulley. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on the new pulley, which is a Z01 pulley. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. If you guys have some other ways or tricks of doing this type of thing, please comment below. I've got a 25% F-body spacing um, underdrive. It's a 25% underdrive. Um, I would suggest going stock on these. I always felt like it was spinning the accessories a little slow. And even my power steering, I felt like it was at idle. It wasn't spinning fast enough. Um, and I don't know if it makes a difference, but the water pump obviously is going to be spinning slower at idle. That's kind of when you really need some good flow. So I don't know if I'd recommend this. I'm going to actually put it up for sale because it is a nice piece. I think I paid over 200 bucks for it. Um, super small. <laughs> um, so somebody, it might be right for their application. So I'll let them decide for that. And uh, I'll try to recoup coop some of the big money that I've been sinking in this car. So that's the plan um, there. That's cool. So we'll be pinning the crank. So we'll be installing a pin crank uh, kit on that. This tool is used to prevent the engine from spinning when you're removing the, cr the crank bolt. So just remove your starter, bolt this tool in place of it, and it prevents the engine from spinning. Pretty cool. You also need this special tool featured here on the top. You can see it's much longer than the, than the stock bolt on the bottom here. Um, just temporarily use this to get some really good threads in there to pull the balancer on once you have enough, uh, once you've installed it enough, far enough, um, you can use the bolt and uh, torque it according to the specs. All right, so I got the other pulley off and now I'm putting on the Z01 pulley. It's got the extra eight rib for uh, our new pulley setup that's gonna work with the F-body accessories. Right now, I just kinda now, I don't heat it, I don't put anything on the, you know, I just do it kind of like the GM spec, where I get an install tool, so, you know, don't try to bang this on there. I get an install tool that's longer, and it makes sure that before it gets on the snout, you know, it's, it's a long enough bolt to be able to catch good threads. I'll make sure it bottoms out on the crank and then I'll start going on it. So once this gets it basically bottoms out, then I'll pull this install bolt or tool out and then I'll put in, I've got an ARP crank pulley bolt. Um, so uh, you don't do the torque to yield on that one. I think the spec on that one is about 238. And then I also have uh, an install tool. I pull the starter out and I actually, and I'll show you that in a minute, but it bolts where the starter goes on the flywheel and it keeps the engine from spinning. So that's a nice tool to be able to keep this thing from spinning, keep the engine from spinning. bottomed out. Now I'm going to remove the tool and then we'll get the uh, 
the other one, the, uh, the correct bolt. So you want to just get this tool and tighten it just enough to get this pulley um, far enough down where the stock bolt or your ARP bolt is going to have plenty of threads. Um, so don't bottom this tool out because it's going to be hard to get it out. Um, just make sure. And so I got it where it's actually bottomed out here with the tool. Um, but just make sure you can get the tool out. This is an ARP bolt. So that's, this is the ARP bolt. And this is the difference here in the tool. Just kind of put them side by side here and you can see this one is definitely longer and it's designed to catch plenty of threads um, so get this you know pretty far in and then you can use your your bolt And these ARP bolts, they have a different torque than the GM stock LS bolts, which are really not reusable. You should put new bolts on them. Go ahead and get this one. I'm gonna I just set it at 100 first. And I think the ARP torque spec was 236 on this particular one. So if you're using, again, the stock GM, Right, that's a hundred. Now I'm just gonna let's pull it up to. I just like doing it in different stages, just to know how far I'm getting along the way. Go ahead and do 150. Torque, we'll run it up to 200. There, that's 200. I always kind of know exactly where I'm at, incremental. Probably just could put it right on 236, but it's the way I do it. Now, definitely, if I'm doing an intake where it stages and you have to do it in a pattern, I definitely do it uh, in stages down according to the spec. And I do everything, man. Even the throttle body, it's just all just documented. I mean, it just takes a minute. Why not? 205, 210, there's 220, 236, right there. That's going to be your number. And then you also, the stock bolt has a torque to yield angle or something shit like that. friends is a ZL1 balancer. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching it. Uh, if you have any other ideas on how you stop the engine from spinning when you're taking off or putting on that crank pulley, uh, or you have some other tricks, hey, put them below. Um, 
Have a great day, guys.